Welcome back to Drawing with Lord Carnage. A week ago or so I showed you the finishing part of a job, which is the hardest part. Finishing a job is a lot of detail work, staring at all the little, little bits and pieces of a drawing, just cleaning it up, refining it, making last minute changes before it goes to print or digital publishing. Now, I'm going to show you the best part of a job, which is the creation part of a job, just making it up from scratch. And for demonstration purposes, I'll be showing you Omega Ronin, which I wrote a couple months ago and started banging out doodles and ideas on uh, and Procreate and Adobe Sketch. And finally, more recently, started putting down actual design elements and creating the characters. And I'm working in Clip and Procreate, which you'll see here. I work with a Clip 3D model, then I put on all the effects in Procreate. And I want the main character as a robot to have like this visor thing that's constantly changing and you'll see why when you when you read the book it's a science fiction manga fantasy space opera adventure it's crazy of course it's crazy because otherwise it would be boring and I'm doing a lot of storyboarding here in this video and just working out all, all, my, all of my ideas and you can see the creation process unfold digitally which is one of the coolest things about Procreate is that it records all of your pen strokes from the beginning so you can see where I'm shuffling drawings around, making sketches, erasing things, changing things. And I haven't even gotten into the, into the actual uh, page layout part of this book yet. I'm just banging out ideas here and there, working out the character details. And then I'll go through and do the actual refinement and the real drawing. But uh, this is the first part of the process, the first part of making a manga. Actually making the manga up from scratch, creating in Procreate. Enjoy. It's the beginnings of a book of a series of an entire universe. It's the sketching phase of Omega Ronin, where I'm making up the character and my approach to drawing him every time. Like, how do I draw this thing? Do I start with his visor? Do I start with the top of his head? Do I start with his neck? Like, if you ever watch me draw Jesus or Edit Station 1, one of these videos, pay attention to the fact that I always draw them the same. Like, I always approach their drawing, no matter what angle it is, the same way. I always start with, like, Jesus's right eye and uh, work work out from from there and uh, edit station one I also have a similar approach to working on just his outline and for Omega Ronin I'm just coming up with the way to draw this thing in each of the uh, in each of the panels uh, it's he's a humanoid character as you can see as a robot and I start with cl start and clip to make sure that I always get it consistently right, no matter what angle I'm drawing from, to get that, that form down professionally, make it look good, so that when you buy the book, you're like, yeah, this is awesome. And then I go into Procreate and add all the little details and the effects. And I love this drawing. You're going to love this character. If you like sci-fi, space opera, epic action adventures, you're going to be, you're going to totally dig this. Um, so I just start by banging out ideas. And uh, I call it storyboarding, basically going in there and working out some pages. I haven't even designed like the spaceships yet. The thing in the bottom right there is actually a floating, it's, a, it's like a space rock. It's orbiting a planet and there's like a gravity generator stuck in the bottom of it. And then it's um, under siege by like, a space, by like a Star Destroyer kind of thing, but not a Star Destroyer because, well, it's obviously not a Star Destroyer, but it's going to be like a big space battleship kind of thing. And I haven't even designed it yet, so I'm just using a rough image for that. And this, I think I showed you this in a different video, but this is like the main bad thing in Omega Ronin doesn't even have a name yet but it's kind of menacing and it's uh, me working out the design on that here's a storyboard page where you you're watching me shuffle things around I think I showed you this already earlier I'm not sure shuffling things around and just working out now the rough sketches of a spaceship design which I, I love that design actually and um, the the action I, I changed this guy in the top right you see that I went with one angle and I was like you know what I don't like that it's gonna be a word balloon above him so I, so I changed changed that. And I'm working on four books at once, four series at once, and each book is in a different phase. So it sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, but I love doing this stuff, so it's like totally awesome to, to have the freedom to work on like four books at once. But each one's in a different phase. Like Ethel is in finishing, and I can't do finishing all work, finishing work all day or I go crazy. Like Jesus is cartoony, so it's just like it's fun. I draw that whenever, whenever I'm like just out and about waiting for pizza or something. That's the one I just start doodling. Uh, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja is sort of like the test project for everything. That's a very complicated book. And um, Magnum Skywolf is uh, actually, I, I'm just, I mean, that's in what I would call reformatting. Like I wrote the whole thing, it's drawn, the first issue is drawn, but I need to reform it into my, into my newer process. And Omega Ronin, you're watching just the, the straight beginnings. Complete creation here, making up just from scratch. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. 
See you next time. It's really long time.